Maxwell House Coffee presents Good News of 1938. Welcome to another hour behind the scenes in Hollywood. Brought to you each week from Metro Goldwyn Mayer, home of the screen's greatest stars. Imagine yourselves now walking through MGM's famous front gate, past the projection rooms and the commissary to sound stage 30. Tonight, scores of stars have come to broadcast and to listen to our good news program. You will hear music by Meredith Wilson and his orchestra, Alan Jones, Virginia Bruce, Frank Morgan, Fanny Bryce, Betty James, John Carradine, and Jimmy Stewart. And here's your host for this hour of entertainment, Robert Taylor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Lined up at the barrier to start the 15th running of the Maxwell House Good News Derby are a string of thoroughbreds. Oh, uh, Bob. <laughs> well, hello, Frank Morgan. <laughs> I, uh, I just heard you talking about racing. That's a great sport, isn't it? Oh, so you're a lover of horse flesh, too, huh? Oh, well, certainly. I What? Horse flesh? I wouldn't eat the stuff if I was starving. <laughs> well, you do know something about horses, don't you? Oh, something. I'm an authority. Giddy ass. Whoa, see? <laughs> Why, well, racing's in my blood. I know all about horses. I used to be a jockey. Oh, you were, huh? Yes. Well, uh, did you pick any good ones today? Did I? Oh, Bob, she was charming. <laughs> blonde hair and black eyes. And... Frank, listen, yeah. hasn't your wife blonde hair and black eyes? Well, no wonder she came home with me. <laughs> she is charming. Yes, I think your wife is very interesting. Yes, right? she is, in a dull kind of a way. <laughs> if she's listening, I'm only kidding. I... <laughs> you know, her biggest fault is she insists on picking out my clothes. Why, just for wearing at the races, she had a top coat made for me out of an old horse blanket. It's an awful thing. I leaned over to tie my shoestring, and three jockeys jumped on my back. <laughs> I think I'll go out to the racetrack myself tomorrow. Oh, fine, Bob. Mm -hmm. I've got a good horse for you in the second race. A tip from a fellow that knows a fellow who knows a fellow that yeah, knows... Yeah, well, well, who is about... it? I was going to bet on Dipsy Doodle. Oh, Doopsy Diddle hasn't got a chance. <laughs> well, to bet the horse, I tell you, I've got information. You see, the horse hates the jockey, and he'll win the race trying to get away from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, listen, I've got a good tip for you, too. Really? What is it? Well, you won't tell anybody, will you? I won't even repeat it to myself. All right. Bet on Meredith Wilson's orchestra to play I Double Dare You right now. There they go. <laughs> Thank you. 